Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS has had Siri for quite some time. It's a digital assistant that sort of gets the job done occasionally. And so if you wanted to use a better assistant, sometimes you had to go to Android or something else. And with all of the new AI out there, there's a way to integrate open AI with chat GPT directly into your iPhone and use that as sort of a Siri elite or others have called it Siri pro mode. I wanted to show you how to do that. And if we go over to our shortcuts, that's where we're actually going to integrate that. Now, the first thing we need to do is I'll leave some links in the description so you can try this yourself, but we need to go to OpenAI's website and create an account or log in if you already have one. Go ahead and log in. Now we have OpenAI's API key website. We'll need to create a new key. You'll see here, we just tap on create new secret key. It will generate that key and now we can copy and paste it. So we wanna copy this and we'll go ahead and just copy this here. And then we're going to paste it into a new shortcut. Now, the second part of this is we actually need to add a new shortcut. So the second link that I added in the description will open up this shortcut and you can save it into your shortcuts app. Go ahead and add the shortcut. And once you've added it, you can see it here and we'll tap the three dots to edit it. We need to change a few fields so that we can use it. The first thing is we want to rename it. Now this can be renamed to whatever you'd like, and we'll be able to activate this later using this name with Siri. So I'll just name it Siri Elite. You could name it Siri Pro or whatever else you'd like. So any name will work here, but just name it something you'll remember. Then the next part is under the second box here where it says text, go ahead and tap in here. And then we want to delete everything in here. We want to paste what we copied before right into this box. So there we have our API key that we copied before. And then the last thing we need to do in this shortcut is scroll down until we get to this box with the little blue box here that says ask for text with, and we need to change this to whatever we want it to ask us. So based on wherever you live, your language, I'll change it to what can I help you with? Help you with. And whatever you put in here is the response you'll get when you activate this. Go ahead and tap done, tap done again, and then we'll tap on it. And you'll see I've tried this before. Let's just delete this one. I've used this before just to make sure it works. Tap on it to run it for the first time. And then just put something in there. We can put the word hi, anything you want, just so we can activate it and it doesn't prompt us every time. So go ahead and tap done. Then it will say allow it to connect and we want it to allow it to connect and then we'll allow it and that's it. And then it responded with a little face. So that's all we need to do to get that working. Now we can use it with Siri. So if we go back out and if we were to use Siri normally, we could ask it something like this. What year was the original iPhone launched? I found this on the web. It gives us a bunch of links to whatever we want. We don't necessarily want that. We just want to know the answer to that question. So now if we press and hold this, Siri elite. What can I help you with? What year was the original iPhone launched? It takes a moment. Was launched in 2007. And now we've just got an answer. It was very quick and then responded fast. Of course, this depends on your connection, but now it actually gives us an answer instead of it just giving us a bunch of links. Let's try that again. Siri elite. What would be a good title for the video on YouTube about Siri being integrated with open AI and chat GPT? Three, exploring Siri's new open up here integration with GPT-3. And so it gives us an idea. So you could use this for anything. You could ask it to write you a paragraph about Siri. Siri elite. Tell me about Siri in a simple paragraph. We'll give it a moment. Siri is an intelligent personal assistant developed by Apple Incorporated. It uses and so you'll see it gives us more information. You can ask it how to change your oil, how to cook something, different recipes, anything you want, it will show in here. Now it's not a hundred percent correct all of the time, but it's much smarter than Siri. So maybe they'll integrate this like Bing is with chat GPT or 
OpenAI, and we'll see more and more of this going forward. Apple's supposed to talk about AI as well, and that's pretty simple to do that. Now, one other thing I would suggest is if we go back into shortcuts, press and hold on this shortcut, and then go into details. Under details, you can add this to the home screen. You can pin it to the menu bar. So we'll add it to the home screen and you'll see it here. So if we want to just type to it, now it's on our home screen. And then we can just type in what we want it to say or use the little icon for dictation. What year was the original iPad released? And it'll come back with text. And there we go. It says released in 2010. And so instead of giving us links and everything else, it gives us an actual answer. So you can try this out. It's really great. And thanks to iDevice help for letting me know about this. Definitely check out his videos as well. Of course, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, it will be linked in the description as it normally is. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. <laughs>